Welcome back to Benny's Custom Works, proudly supported by Valvoline and Spares Box. Don't forget Benny 5 on checkout. This week, we are back on the crown. We are persisting with the transmission tunnel. Today's the day where I get to get covered in sparks and grinding dust and all sorts of fun stuff and hopefully burn myself with a welder as well. So all those things tied together should mean we can get a transmission tunnel completed in this car and the transmission back in the car for the final time. So let's give it a whirl and see how we end up. And we're not riding go -peds. I like a new GoPad. We're gonna have GoPad chats again. No, nah, no, nah, let's not. Yeah, looking at that now, I mean, I can see where I wanna drill the spot welds out, but I'd wanna double check that those spot welds are the only ones holding the top section of the tunnel in. Because if they're not, and then they're double stacked, like I think they probably are, that's not a good time. Might be pizzaing when we think we need to French fry. And it's actually a South Park reference, not a Simpsons reference. Changing it up this week. Yes, I know that I got the DMX and exhibit thing mixed up and then I woke up in a cold sweat one morning. The morning after the episode went out, I'm like, oh, I was wrong. Conveniently though, people in the comments also let me know a hundred times. So I appreciate <laughs> that. Thanks for the commenting. Oh, you did bad. I think I'll cut the tunnel from the top first because I can't really tell where I want to drill the spot welds out the distance this way. So I'll have to, I'll cut the tunnel from the top first. Then we'll do the spot welds. Sorry, then we'll pull the box out, then we'll do the spot welds. Oh, you dropped the cross member again. Ah, oh, I cut the wrong side. No. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> oh, 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 oh man, I was like, yeah. Fish on. Fish on. Oh my god. I saw your face and then I, I did that oh. oh shit face and you're like, oh shit. Bro, you're a good actor. Watch out, Raymar. I'm coming for your gig, bro. <laughs> and the Oscar goes too. I had you hook, line, and sinker. I, I, mean, I, I mean, I was just acting too. But... Sure you were. <laughs> that'll right. do for that cart because that'll tell us where we've got to go to. Because I'm going to have to do that same cut on the inside. Setting out the trip hazard. You do love a trip hazard. There it is. Nailed it. There it is. Nice. Going back to what we were saying before. How is, this, is this the part where I tell everyone I'm parting the car out and we're not finishing it? <laughs> oh, um, I was going to say the opposite. Soon. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's the plan, right? Damn it. Is the complete opposite of that? Sure. Yeah. I mean, I've never, I've never seen you not finish a vehicle, so. Well, you might be in for a treat. Okay. Keen, keen for the outcome of this car. Benny was telling me before he's going to smash my door on the Falcon. I'll be door the Explorer. And just so everybody knows, I'm fully okay with that. I must just slap my door and then it puts me into the wall. And then that car like bursts into flames and you, you will die a terrible, terrible death. Or right. would you then want to um, swap my running gear into a BMW, given that you I love not, BMWs so I would so not much. want to do that. Oh, what? Aren't you no, the BMW guy? No, no, that is you. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You confused me and you. You're right. I hate it when that happens. Yeah, must be the beard. Yeah. Yeah, apart from that, we basically look identical. <laughs> Legit, I can't grow a full beard and I'm very jealous. I'm too lazy to shave it off. <laughs> <laughs> nah, keep the beard because I'm sure some of you have realised that Benny doesn't actually talk sometimes and I put his own voice. No more go pads. But yeah, see, like that. And sometimes I do talk and then you mute it. <laughs> have you noticed those ones? Yep. Yeah, right. I know your editings. I've seen you on the internet. Bought a new drag challenge trailer. Oh yeah, so it's awesome. Did you put the Aussie? I did stuff not. On? My guess is that that was. They built that trailer as a demo trailer, but the problem is they actually wrapped the panels before they assembled the trailer. So they put all the seam sealer over the top of the vinyl, so I can't actually take it off. I see. So when we rewrap it to put all of our logos on it. We're gonna have to wrap over the top of the Australian flag. I see. And I don't know how that's gonna go because typically the white vinyl is a little bit transparent. Yep. So you wanna go over a solid background. Yep. So, yeah, might be interesting times. 
Like maybe by the end of the day, we could have all the bolts in it. We're only missing three out of the eight. It's pretty good. 11. 11. I'm sure some people are having conniptions over the odd number. I'm also having that conniption. So we're going to have to whiz a lot of this seam sealery junk off because all that is hiding spot welds. It's all in my hair. Still get spot weld PTSD from Marty's mirror. <laughs> we did that floor swap. How long did that take? Bro, that was weeks. Just fracturing spot welds? Yeah, just trying to pop the spot welds. Oh, cool. See, all that's off. Whoa. Ta da. Magic. Poof. From this angle, that looks pretty good. Let me just try and get Yeah, but see how it's a bit wide here? Yeah. So I think what I'm gonna do is just cut and cut down there. Yep. And uh, what you're saying about the back section that you've got to do? I think I'll basically just cut along, like get rid of this flat. Because at this point, we're gonna be welding around here anyway, like on the top side. So it's not gonna be welded on the side in there. But that looks pretty good to you at the moment? Yeah. Yeah, sweet. Some freehand. Should be right. That's extremely straight lines for freehand. Thank you. That's looking real good. Yeah, we're getting there. Gonna need to give the tunnel a bit of bashy bashy now. I think I might actually open these up a bit. But then also bash the tunnel in the same kind of area. So that's getting pretty good. Yeah, awesome. Pretty relaxed on cutting the tunnel. I kind of want to sneak up on it rather than just cutting holes everywhere. <laughs> But we're getting close. See, that's those skills I was referring to earlier. Early schooling skills, tracing. Don't miss tracing class, kids. I'm just gonna tack it in there. I'm not gonna weld the whole thing in because what I wanna do is get it in there and basically just test fit it. Welding. Yeah, see how that, that's what's stopping us at the moment is that there, we've got to push that up. So I think what I'll do is we'll get under it now and force that piece up with the twisty stand. So that is physically as high as I can put that in a car. Once we get it in the right spot, I'll Clico, I'll Clico that to pull those panels together. Oh, okay. And then I can spot weld that properly. Welding. Hot. Do you want me on the inside of the car looking for no. fires? We're just not going to say the F word. We'll bring it down and make sure that nothing's on fire. Good as long one. as that's all good, we'll put the box back in. You said the F word. Like now it's in there, it doesn't look out of place. So now that I've got those back in, we can do effectively our final test fit. The tunnel itself is not wider. Yep. In the shifter housing, the shifter housing is wider, if that makes sense. I do have to notch this for the reverse lockout cable. Yeah. But I'm not going to do that until later because I'm actually not putting that in the box yet. Just got to put the gearbox in gear. In fourth gear. <laughs> yeah. Not bad. 
just putting two bolts in. Two is a good number for this current application. Two will work for now. Two is a lot more than zero. I'll just screw that in to block the hole off. It's not giving me success vibes. So that's as high up as it can go. Is that looking good to you? Put on the fence if I'm honest. What it may mean we have to do is just gotta remake the gearbox crossmember a bit. A little bit more involved than just. Anytime anyone starts a sentence with, can't you just? It's, yeah. it's normally a no. No, I can't. I can't just. <laughs> I don't really understand why that's bolt bolted in, but there's still such a gap. There. Does that mean that piece You want a gap to... there. Because I've got to be able oh. to bolt the shifter in from the top. Right, okay. No, I definitely want some gap there okay. for sure. Okay, awesome. Because the box isn't supposed to seal against that. Yeah, okay, beautiful. That's what I thought for some but reason. But what I'm a little bit concerned about is it's just tight there. Like it's basically touching yeah. there. Yeah. But I feel like that's bashable. Super worst case, I can put a 10 mil spacer here, or what I can do is just cut these lugs off and remount the box 10 mil lower. Right, okay. But either, neither of those are like super major. Little it's from just... column A, little from column B kind of yeah, solution. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we've got to weld the tunnel in, seam seal it, and then we're good. No pun intended, seems promising. <laughs> <laughs> but I wonder if I could be a bit sneaky. Unbolt the box. Drop it down a little. No, the other way. Uh, push the box up. Ah, uh, to mark where you've got to... No, to try and actually push the tunnel up piece up. I see. Self-clearance, in other words. I think it's literally lifting the car. It's just going to break something. Just redo these 10 mil. It's going to change our pinion angle slightly, but... Oh, I see. Actually, being a two-piece shaft, it's not super critical. There's zero welding, it's just swapping like. Oh no. Do you reckon there's actually a lot of people around the world that attempt anything like this? Or it's just stuff like oh, this? Oh, probably. I don't know how you'd, how you'd do it, you know, by yourself and still keep saying. <laughs> Neither. Not the prettiest, but it's not too bad. Maybe you're the looking for fire guy. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for fire. Cool. Mm. Little, little flame, Yeah, that's alright. Gotta knock more out of that. Because it's close, it's just gotta go lower. Yeah. I think I'm gonna cut that corner out too. Yeah. But does that help with um, supporting the gearbox? No, nah, it's to brace the seat rails, because it was one piece the whole way across. So this piece, unfortunately, just the whole shape of the tunnel here has changed a little bit too much, so it's not really gonna work. Um, so I think I'm gonna make a piece for that um, later. And just, I wanna keep pushing through today and get this to the point where we can basically seal it up on the bottom side and then just add this piece in later. But yeah, it's, um, unfortunately, it's just, I've cut a lot out of it and it, I don't think it's actually gonna be strong enough now anyway to actually do anything. So I think I'm just gonna basically tie these extra braces back to this piece and um, yeah, leave it at that because it's, I mean, it's pretty thin material anyway. So um, the fact that these are still spotted every four inches anyway, like they're not going anywhere. So um, yeah, I don't really see it being a massive issue. So we'll uh, keep on super gluing this thing into the car and uh, call it done. So the Clicos have pulled the piece that I want to weld back into the car pretty well back against the tunnel. A few little things I can probably adjust, but 
it's um it's definitely in there like i've tacked pretty much the whole way around to shift the hole like the factory hole in the top of the car also welded across the front edge done a full seam weld across that front edge and it's all looking pretty good so a few little tidy up things to do under here and then we'll do one more lot of spot welds well plug welds and uh, then we'll seam seal it but i don't know if i can bring myself to make you poor people watch a third episode of this but we'll see how it goes but yeah fair chance i'll do some of this off camera just to finish it so that you don't have to watch the painful tunnel fabrication 3.0 there is a lot of work that goes into oh, this man, it's, it's just, crazy it's just fiddly boring stuff like no one likes this part of a build yeah and it's not even like major work it's just time consuming like i didn't even i didn't think this was going to take the amount of time that it has like it's just annoying but that's part of building a car i guess Considering that tunnel piece is from a car that's like 30 years newer than this one though, it's gone in pretty well. Like Toyota obviously don't change a whole lot. Maybe somebody over there's just got, you know, the motto framed on their wall that says, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Yeah. Or well, maybe transmission tunnel guy's just resting on his laurels. It's like, I got the job done 30 years ago. <laughs> but you can just keep paying me. And I'll probably cut the transmission mounts up off camera too. Yeah, like Either that said. or we'll do it all again next week and you can watch me do tunnels for a third week in a row. <laughs> you poor people. <laughs> there was an episode 2.5 of scootering, so maybe there'll be an episode 2.5 of tunneling. So um, There's just so much my back can do before it gives out and I've kind of got to that point. Um, I'm actually out of gas for the welder as well, so that means we can't finish the plug welds. Um, so I'll get a gas cylinder in the next few days. We may even come back and shoot uh, this coming Monday, which is Easter Monday. So we'll try and get it done as quick as we can. Um, then we can move on to other things on this car as well as other projects. Um, Gian's Falcon is in dire need of a clutch. So I'll get a clutch for that uh, from Spares Box in the next week or so. Um, that clutch has some very interesting problems, I might add. You can't bleed it. Yeah. Like the the actual bleed nipple is full of junk, so you can't actually fix that in the car. You gotta pull the box out to fix that anyway, so um, that'll get tackled. Um, it's scary. I really wanna revisit your seat rail because I'm just not happy with that. The seating position is shitty. Um, but I would actually really like to find a stock manual rail first and cut that up rather than try and persist with that stupid electric rail. So that's a you problem. You gotta <laughs> find a manual seat. To be fair, that uh, electric rail was oh, a good I idea. I might know of a BA. Paulie's got a BA at his place that's like a parts car. My phone is lit right now. <laughs> Chat is wild. So is your brain. Ping, ping, ping. ping. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, this car's hurting me, hey. Like, I feel like it doesn't want to be finished. But the tunnel's mostly done. Um, yeah, this, the, the piece I removed for, the, sorry, that was part of the seat rail cross member. Um, that is not going to, the way I've modified the tunnel now, that is not going to fit. So I'm going to have to make something to go back into that place. Um, I'm not sure what that's even going to look like yet. Um, but that's definitely later bend problems. Um, so yeah, that's, that's definitely going to get revisited later before we put the carpet and the seats back in. Um, but I do want to get the, um, the underside of the tunnel, get those plug welds done, which I was hoping to do today and then seam seal and sound dead and all that, which, or stone guard I should say, which we also can't do because I've still got a weld. So there's no point welding to fresh paint. So we're gonna do that in the next episode probably. So sorry, not sorry, but yeah, I know this has got a bit tedious, but this is just the reality of project cars. Sometimes this stuff takes way longer. Like I was anticipating to take three weeks to make a transmission tunnel, not even make it, just modify it. So. It is what it is, unfortunately, but uh, yeah. Hope you guys are enjoying it, the five people that have uh, persisted and are still watching. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, hopefully be doing a bit more exciting stuff sooner or later. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.
after this are we like home and hose like it should be like come together pretty good well, let's hope cool <laughs> if you're still watching there's plenty more to come with the crown um, once we knock this over that's all the predominantly all the tedious stuff done so we get to do cooling system exhaust uh, intake um, I'm hoping to get some ITBs on this thing pretty soon um, we're going to use a Haltech Terminator loom on this again um, I'll probably I've got to find out if the if the um, ITVs are going to be e-throttle or traditional cable um, because that will depend on what we've got to do with the Haltech Terminator loom. Um, we've also got to work out things like the vehicle speed sensor and reverse uh, because the reverse switch on the Great Wall box is dead but it does look the same as an R-series switch so I think I can just get a genuine Toyota one with the right plug on it. We've got to do the fuel system, we've got to fix the tank. Maybe we'll do that next week too because that's not so boring that you're going to want to neck yourself. Um, but yeah, the fuel tank is actually just going to go back in, uh, but I do need to run a new fuel line to the front of the car because in my haste and mental space at the time when we were stripping this, we were building a thousand plus horsepower drag car, so the 516th or 8 mil fuel line that was in it was going to be no good. Uh, that being said, now we definitely can use the stock size fuel line, so um, we're going to be going back to, well, we're going to go dash six purely because it's what I have. Um, so we'll run Raceworks Dash 6 Braid under the car rather than try and do it in hardline. Um, because, yeah, I'd, I could spend seven hours and make a hardline or I could spend 20 minutes and run a braid. So we all know where that's going to end up. But there is plenty more to come with the build and it is going to get more exciting, I promise, especially the first time it starts and we can do skiddy things. So thanks for watching and I appreciate everyone supporting the project and the channel. And thanks for sticking around. Have fun. No more go pads. Ever again? No. Nah, for the Crown series. Fair. Do you want to buy a go pad? You know, I was not tempted at all until you got the one that you can actually lean. Yeah, I like the look of those tires. Yeah, now you're back tires. in the game. <laughs> Things are beast.